Praise God. And I know some of you are probably like, man, not this guy again. We just heard him last week. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, it is my honor and pleasure, just as Pastor Rick shared, we're actually celebrating 10 wonderful years of ministry for our Spanish service. And uh, last week, yeah, <laughs> amen. Last week they had a, held a special service there where they had record numbers there, and I will let Pastor Arturo share a little bit of that with you, but man, I'm so excited. Uh, my wife and I were part of that core group when God originally called them to serve in that ministry, and it was nothing that they took lightly. It was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of long weekends. One of the things that Pastor Arturo hasn't been sharing in the other service, and I'm going to take a little bit of liberty and share is that he was driving a truck for, I believe it was Renner Center, right, at that time. And he had to get up sometimes at 3 a.m. in the morning. So he was here from about 3.30 in the afternoon. Sometimes we would go maybe 8.30, maybe 9 o'clock in the night because when, when someone's heart was hurting and they needed someone to minister to them, guess who had to do that? Pastor Arturo. And sometimes my wife and I would be joining them as well. And whatever God called us to do, we, would, we were willing to do the hard work. But praise be to God, 10 years later, they are so much stronger than when we started. And it is my honor, my pleasure again to introduce to you this morning Pastor Arturo Santiago as he shares with us. Would you please welcome him? Oh, and I get to translate for Pastor Arturo, by the way. Good morning, Crossroad. <clears throat> uh, it is a privilege for me to be here this morning and share just a little bit what is happening on the Spanish church. Um, because this is a combined service, I'm going to preach on Spanglish. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> it's going to be nice. It's going to be good. God is in control, so it's okay. <laughs> so thank you, Pastor Eli. Uh, el libro de Deuteronomio es el quinto libro de la Biblia. Vamos a ver lo que dice. Oh, oh, slow down, slow down. Slow down. <laughs> so we're going to start in the fifth book of the Bible, Deuteronomy, and we're going to find out what it says. <laughs> Just like old times. Old times, yes, sir. <laughs> dice la, la palabra, conoce a... pues que Jehová tu Dios es Dios. And it says, therefore know that the Lord your God, he is God. Pero Dios fiel. But it's faithful God. Que guarda el pacto. That, that keeps the covenant. Y la misericordia. And mercy. A los que aman y guardan sus mandamientos. For those who love him and keep his commandments. Hasta mil generaciones. For a thousand generations. Now, oh. now there's something that I need to share with you. When he's reading scripture, Spanish is like kind of backwards from English. So if you hear me do that and not follow scripture, you know what's going on. I'm sorry. I had to share that. Whatever you say. <laughs> well, <laughs> Feel the love. God is good. <laughs> um, <laughs> yo... Uh, so I was talking with Pastor Rick acerca de este servicio combinado que damos todos los años. in reference to this combined service that we do each year. And so we were, we were racking our brains, we were talking about, hey, what do we want to talk about this Sunday? Y llegamos a un acuerdo and so we reached an agreement en la cual vamos a hablar de la fidelidad de Dios. in which we are going to talk about the faithfulness of God. Y yo le dije, Pastor, it's okay, that's good. What he said. Y este versículo que hemos leído, hermano, and, and so this verse that we just finished reading, nos habla de la fidelidad de Dios, it, it speaks on the faithfulness of our God, hacia su pueblo Israel, uh, toward his people Israel. Pero algo que dice al final del versículo, but there's something key that it shares at the very end of the verse, es que Dios, is that God, guardará su pacto, will keep 
his covenant con aquellos que aman y guardan sus mandamientos with those who love him and keep his commandments guarda y ama los mandamientos del Señor usted hermano those that keep him love him and keep his commandments that's a question oh it's a, it, okay do it again do it again guarda y ama los mandamientos del Señor do you keep his commandments, and do you love him? Come on, just a few. Just a few. Just a, this side, this side right here, this side right here. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Amen. A big amen. <laughs> they don't have an excuse. There they're they're the, the, the second service. <laughs> y dice algo bien importante hermano and it says something very important que no solamente su fidelidad que se quedaba en ese tiempo uh, it, it's not just his faithfulness for back then sino que irá de generación en generación but that his faithfulness would be one and the same throughout generation to generation incluyendo esta generación que estamos viviendo hoy hermano. in and including this generation of today amen, amen. Y algo muy importante es and, and something that's of great importance que aunque nosotros no somos hebreos, that even though we're not Hebrews and we don't speak Hebrew no hablamos hebreo, pero somos unos de América del Norte but, but we're here in North America América del Sur, Central uh, South America, Central America De todos lugares hay aquí. Uh, they're from people here from all backgrounds. Yo me alegro en esta mañana. I, I, I'm, I'm delighted that in this morning. Because we have a good problem. Porque tenemos una buena problema. <laughs> Tuvieron que añadir más sillas. We had to add more seats, more chairs. Porque hay mucha gente aquí, hermano. Because there's a lot of people here this morning. Yo es bueno. That's a good thing. So that means that there are two bodies but one church. Y esto nos habla de unidad. Unidad. Unity. Un solo cuerpo. One body. Un solo Dios. One God. Una sola iglesia. And one church. Hispanic. Hispana. English. Inglés. Whatever. Y lo que sea. Somos uno. We're one. Amen. Amen. So, ahora vemos que somos parte de esa promesa del Señor. And so we find that we are a part of that promise Porque of God. somos nuevas criaturas en Cristo. Because we are new creations in Christ Jesus. Y quiere decir que la fidelidad de Dios and it means that the faithfulness of God caminará conmigo todos los días will walk with me each and every day. Mientras yo ame a Dios while I'm loving God mientras yo ame su palabra while I love his word mientras yo sea Fiel, Meanwhile, I'm being faithful to him. Siendo fiel, he will continue to be faithful. No le da gracias a Dios por eso. Are you thankful for that? ¿Cuántas veces? How many times? This is a question for you. Es una pregunta para usted. ¿Cuántas veces? How many times? Hemos pensado. We've thought que Dios se ha olvidado de nosotros. that God has forgotten about us. Que Dios se ha olvidado de las promesas. That God has forgotten about his promises Nos to ha us. Sucedido a todos. It, it's happened to each and every one of us in our lives. ¿Verdad? Right? You're a church, right? Amen. Okay. Somos humanos. We're, we're humans. Y estamos en este cuerpo. And, and we're still in these bodies. Y a veces nos viene esa situación en nuestras vidas. And at times these situations will arise in our lives. Pero sabe qué, hermano? But you know what, brothers and sisters? El tiempo y la voluntad perfecta de Dios. Uh, God's timing and his will is perfect. Y él será fiel. And he is faithful. Y yo no puedo acomodar and, go, ahead. go ahead. No, no, no. No, you go, go ahead. ahead. I, I can't adjust mi tiempo y mi voluntad al tiempo y la voluntad de Dios. Okay. God cannot adjust his time to my time. Kind of like that, yeah. It's right, good. right, right. We got it. Okay. It's almost like I've been translating for you two other services. En otras palabras, so in other words, in other words, yo tengo que someterme a la voluntad y al tiempo de Dios. I have to submit to his timing 
and his will, not the other way around. Is that better? You got it, brother. You got it. Pero no piense que está solo, hermano. But, but don't feel like you're alone. No piense que Dios se ha olvidado de usted. Don't think that God has forgotten about usted you. Usted es la niña de los ojos de Dios. You are the apple of his eye. Y tú estás esculpido en la mano de Dios. And, and, and he has formed you and carved you out in his hand. Imagínate que Dios envió a su único hijo. Imagine this, that he sent his only begotten son. Para hacerse hombre. In the form of a man. Para morir en una cruz. To die on a cross. Y sufrir. And suffer por amor a ti. because he loved you y por amor a mí. and loved me. Por eso eres especial para Dios. That's why it's, it's, it's pretty special to God. You are so special for God. Tú es, tú eres tan especial para Dios. No lo dudes, hermano. Don't doubt it, brothers and sisters. Okay? So, estas promesas para ti. so these promises y are for all of us. Otra promesa que nos da el Señor. And so another promise that God gives Está us. Está en el libro de Números. We find in the book of Numbers. Para que cuando te olvides. So that when those times come that you forget. Vea ese versículo. You can, you can see or remember this verse. Y dice así hermano. And it says just like this. Dios no es hombre para que mienta ni hijo de hombre para que se arrepienta. God is not man that he should lie. Nor a son of man that he should repent. O sea que Dios no es como los hombres. So God is not like man. El hombre promete. Man promises. Yo le puedo prometer a usted algo. I, I, can, I can promise you something. Pero le cumpliré. But will I fulfill it? Los hombres prometen. Man promises. Especialmente los políticos. Uh, especially politicians. <laughs> Keep in mind, we, you know, there's some that are okay. I, Especialmente en momentos de elecciones. Especially during elections. Cuando llegan a la gente y prometen. When, when they're there and, and they're uh, promising so many different things. Besan al niño, besan al anciano. They, they'll take a child, they'll kiss the child, they'll, they'll take an elderly man or a woman and kiss on them as well. Pero cuando llegan a la silla. But when they get into office. Se olvidan de las promesas que hicieron. They forget about the promises that they've made. Por eso es que Dios nos dice que tenemos que poner los ojos en Dios, no en el hombre. God tells us that we need to put our eyes on him and not on man. Porque Dios es el único fiel. Because God is the only one el hombre that falla. can be faithful. Man fails. El hombre es imperfecto. Man is imperfect. El hombre, verdad, tiene límites. Man has limits. Pero mi Dios no es imperfecto. But God is not imperfect. Mi Dios no tiene límites, hermano. Our God has no limits. Dios lo que promete lo cumple. What God's, God says he will do, he will do. Porque él es Dios. Because he is God. He is God. Él es Dios. To his name the glory. Amen. Y para su nombre la gloria. Le damos la gloria. Amen. Dos Características de Dios. Two character traits of God. Fiel. He is faithful. Y cumple su pacto con el hombre. And he fulfills what he promises. Dios cumplió su pacto con los hombres en la antigüedad. He fulfilled his promises and, and his covenants with man in times past. Hoy en el 2023 Dios sigue cumpliendo su pacto con el hombre. And in 2023 he continues being the same yes. God. I believe it. Yo lo creo. Dios es bueno. God is good. Ahora bien, hermano. En mi vida yo he visto la fidelidad de Dios. And in my life personally I've seen God's faithfulness. Pero también he visto la fidelidad de Dios en el ministerio que por la gracia de Dios nos ha dado. And, and I've also seen God's faithfulness in the ministry that he is given into our hands. El domingo pasado. Last Sunday. La iglesia hispana de la cross, the crossroad. The Spanish ministry of crossroad. Cumplió 10 años en esta tierra. Uh, fulfilled 10 years of ministry here on this earth and, and on these grounds. Porque Dios es fiel, hermano. Because God is faithful. Because God is faithful. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear because they were clapping so loud. <laughs> y digo que en esta tierra And, and I say on these grounds porque ya en el corazón de Dios y en los planes de Dios because in, in, the, in the plans and in the heart of God 
estaba establecido it was already done and established que Dios lo iba a hacer en este lugar that he would do it here on these grounds del corazón de Dios from the heart of God al corazón del hombre to the heart of man hemos visto we have seen como Dios how God ha cumplido has fulfilled al pie de la letra to the, to the foot of the letter sus promesas his promises en nuestras vidas in our lives dale gracias a Dios give thanks to God give praise to God cuando comenzamos el ministerio, when we began the ministry, nos reuníamos con la familia González. Uh, we would reunite with the Gonzalez family. En su casa y en mi casa. And in in their house and in in their house and in our house. Eh, luego pasamos aquí al edificio de, and, and, de, aquí and, de la iglesia. And after after those times, then we began to meet here at Pero church. Pero había un problema. But there was an issue. Que no había espacio para que nos reuniésemos. Los domingos en la mañana. That we couldn't gather together or hold services on Sunday mornings. Pero no hay problema. But 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 it's fine. Porque Dios tiene todo calculado, hermano. Because God has already had everything calculated. No, no, no entiendes por lo que está pasando en tu vida hoy, hermano. Do you not understand what's happening in your life today? Tranquilo, tranquila. It, it's all right. Dios all right. sabe. Relax. God knows. He knows. He knows. Él sabe. Él sabe. He got it. Él lo tiene. <laughs> y Comenzamos a reunirnos a las cinco de la tarde. And so we began to meet five o'clock in the evenings on y Sundays. ¿Te acuerdas? You I, remember. I remember, yeah. Cuando eh, era un momento un poco deprimente. Uh, there were times that it, it was very hard. It was sad. Especialmente en el invierno. Especially in the winter time. Éramos los únicos en el edificio. We were the only ones here in the building. Seis, siete, ocho personas. Six, seven Eight people. Me acuerdo que a las tres y treinta de la tarde llegábamos aquí. I remember that at three thirty we would get here. Y entre mi esposa y mis hijos comenzábamos a sacar las mesas y and, poner las sillas. And between my and between my kids, my wife and I, we would we would begin to remove tables y pre and chairs. Y preparar el salón para darle culto a Jehová. And and prepare the room, the meeting room, to 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 render services to God. Y me acuerdo también. And I remember que ya llegando a las cinco de la tarde. That that once five o'clock or it approached five o'clock that my kids and I nos asomábamos por la puerta o por la ventana para mirar si venía algún carro. We, we would we begin to look through the window of the door to see if we saw any cars. Y cuando veíamos un carro entrar por la State Forest Road and when we saw a car cross State Forest Road start driving down nos poníamos contentos. Man, we got excited. Viene un carro, viene un carro. There's a car coming, there's a car coming. Felices. Yeah, we were happy. But the car never entered the church, Lord. Wow, you got it. You wow. know what I'm talking you about, right? You speak Spanish. Well, yeah, I didn't know. That's good. Man. This is crossbow. Yeah. Amen. Wow. Woo. One body. One body. I love it. One language. <laughs> <laughs> Y seguía el carro y no, and the car kept going and, then all, triste, and all of a sudden we were like oh Pero man venía un carro y llegaba, but when a car came and we were happy somebody's here in church Felice. Está aquí en la God iglesia. is good <laughs> Gloria a Dios Dios es bueno éramos poco hermano there was a few of us la única vez que llegamos a 20 personas the only time that we reached perhaps 20 people is because we have food porque tenían comida. It was a fellowship service. Era el servicio de, de, de amistad. And I think every two or three months, every five months, something like that, we celebrate the fellowship service. Y cada dos o tres meses nosotros celebramos esto. So we had to stop that. Y ten, tuvimos que parar esto. No más. <laughs> Sucede que cuando construyen el lado nuevo del edificio, and and then we begin the new work. The new phase was just finished. La cosa comenzó a cambiar. Then there was a shift. Well, I remember something. Oh, okay. me recordé algo. For some reason. Wait a minute, in Spanish, man. I'm supposed to. Be... <laughs> Let me do it in English. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, man. Por alguna razón. For there you go. For. <laughs> For for some reason, we can use the meeting room. No podemos usar el, el salón de, de reunión. So we had to come here. So tuvimos que venir aquí. I remember in these chairs. Y, y yo me recuerdo que en esta silla aquí. It was uh, Magdalia. Uh, Magdalia. 
Warren Thompson. Warren Thompson. My estaba wife. Aquí. La esposa mía estaba ahí. I don't know ahí. who else. Y oh, unos cuantos y, y nuestra familia. I remember uh, I was here. Y yo me recuerdo que él, eh, yo estaba ahí. And you was here. Y yo estaba aquí Translate. en este lado, en este lado. Okay. Only seven people or eight people. Solamente siete personas in o this, ocho personas. In this big building. En este gran salón. <laughs> Sabe cómo nos sentíamos, hermano. And so you can imagine how we felt. Oh my goodness, what is this? <laughs> ¿Qué estaba pasando? Pero Dios fue fiel. But God was still faithful. Dios siguió siendo fiel. And he continues to be faithful. Comenzamos a reunirnos a las 11 de la mañana. And so we began to gather together at 11 a.m. on Sundays. Siete personas, seis, ocho personas. Seven, eight people. Comenzamos a ver un crecimiento. We began to see an increase. 70, 80 personas. Now 70, now 80 people. Y Dios comenzó a hacer su obra. And God began to do his good work. Porque Dios es fiel. Because God is faithful. No desmayes, hermano. So don't, don't faint. No desmayes. Don't get weary. Sigue esperando en Dios. Continue to wait upon the Lord. Sigue esperando en la promesa de Dios. Continue to wait upon his el precious enemigo, promises. El enemigo te dirá tantas cosas a ti. The enemy will say all kinds of things. Pero mantente fiel y firme a Dios. But but keep yourself faithful to God. Dile Dios, tú eres un Dios fiel. God is a, a faithful God. Y él cumplirá su promesa en nosotros, hermano. And he will do what he said he would do. ¿Cuánto lo crees? How many believe that this morning? Créelo. Praise God. De, no teníamos dentro de la iglesia no teníamos ningún ministerio. Uh, so in our ministry we didn't have any uh, any more ministries. Hoy día. But today. Para la gloria del Señor. To the glory and the honor of God. Contamos con 15 ministerios activos dentro de la iglesia. We find that there are 15 additional ministries along with the Spanish ministry. Porque Dios es fiel. Because God is faithful. Momentos difíciles llegaron a nuestras vidas. There were challenging times that, that came to our lives. Quizás de desánimos. May, maybe moments of, of, of discouragement. Nos cuestionábamos en nuestra cabeza, en nuestra mente. We began to question in our minds and in our hearts. Are you really God call me? Dios, ¿de veramente me, me ha llamado? ¿Realmente es, es, esto es tuyo de que tú me hayas llamado para it, esto? It, is, is this really you that called me to this? Is, I mean, I... Am I the right person? Duros momentos, hermano. Hard times. Pero Dios siguió siendo fiel. But God continued to be faithful. A ese a la gloria. To him be the glory. Y me dieron muchas pruebas. And there came many times the trials. Pero han llegado muchas glorias, muchas cosas lindas dentro del ministerio en estos 10 años. But although there were many trials, there were so many more great moments and, and glorious times in the ministry throughout the 10 years. Y... Hoy día reunimos alrededor de 125 a 135 personas que atienden a la iglesia. And so today our average attendance each and every weekend is between 125 to 135. Porque él es fiel. Because God continues to be faithful. Llegamos una vez a los 166, I think that was at Christmas time. So, Christmas so we service. had a service of 166, creo que fue durante la Navidad, eh? El domingo pasado. And last Sunday. A Dios gloria y gracias. To, to God be the glory and the honor. Llegamos a los 189. We actually were at 189. A Él la gloria. To God be the glory. Porque Dios es fiel. Because God continues to be faithful. No desmayes, hermano. So, so, so don't faint. Quizás don't grow weary. Ha estado esperando por esa promesa. Maybe you've been waiting for a promise. Dos años. Maybe two years. Un año, tres años. One, one year, maybe ten years. ¿Quién sabe? Who knows? Esto se trata de aquel que persevera hasta el fin. But, but this, is, this is about persevering until the end. Pero si no perseveramos, hermano. But if we don't persevere. No vamos a ver la promesa de Dios. We're not going to see the fulfillment of Pero God. Pero si somos fieles. But if we are faithful. Dios será fiel, hermano. God will be faithful. No importa cuán oscuro sea. It doesn't matter how dark it might get around us. Su camino, your path. Hay una luz. There is a light. Que es Jesús. 
That is Jesus. Y es nuestra esperanza de gloria. And he is our hope and our salvation. El único fiel. The only faithful one. El único. The only one. Nadie más. No one else. Podrá llenar tu vida. Can, can perhaps impact your life. Nadie más. No one else. Podrá Aleluya, cumplir eso que estás esperando. Can can uh, fulfill or meet that which you are waiting for. Como nuestro Dios. Like our God can. Amen. Dios es bueno. God is good. So, because this is the first part of the message. Porque esta es la primera parte del mensaje. I'm done. <laughs> Terminamos. Pero ore por nosotros, hermanos. But pray for us, brothers and sisters. Si conoce alguna persona hispana, if you know somebody that's Spanish speaking, o, o, o que sea americana también, no hay o, problema. Or even no e matter. English speaking, it doesn't matter. We had a bilingual service over there, so that's okay. It's okay. Tenemos un servicio bilingüe, eso está bien. Invítelos. Invite them. Y dígale que también en este lugar, let them know that in this place, hay un grupo de hermanos hispanos, there is a group of Spanish speaking brothers and sisters, que le espera con los brazos abiertos, that awaits them with open arms, para presentarle, to present them, al Dios fiel. To the faithful God que le espera también, that also awaits them con los brazos abiertos. with open arms. Dios le bendiga. God bless you. Hacia adelante en el Señor. Continue to keep forward, moving forward in Jesus. Where's Pastor Rick? Oh, scare me. <laughs> and now we're going to have Pastor Rick come up. And this is Pastor Arturo's wife, Janet. Yeah. I'm going to have to shorten my message. Because apparently, when Pastor Arturo sees 600 people, he preaches a little longer. <laughs> So, Así que, Pastor Arturo was speaking about God's faithfulness. So, el Pastor Arturo estaba hablando de la fidelidad de Dios. He's a faithful God. Él es un Dios fiel. I'm supposed to share. Yo se supone que comparta. On what happens when people are faithful to Him. Lo que pasa cuando la gente es fiel a él. And that's why Pastor Arturo went a little longer. Por eso fue que el pastor Arturo tomó más tiempo. Because he started preaching my message too. Porque él predicó el mensaje de él. But that's okay. Está bien. That meant he was listening to me for two services. Así que él estaba escuchando por dos veces. King Saul. El rey Saúl. Disobeyed God. Desobedeció a Dios. Then God revealed it to him. Y en, en lo, lo reveló. And Saul made excuses. Y Saúl puso muchas excusas. And in the end, y en el final, he lost the kingdom. Él perdió el reinado. He wasn't faithful. Él no fue fiel. And then God said, y Dios dijo, I'm going to look Yo voy a mirar for somebody por alguien who has a heart toward me. que tiene el corazón hacia mí. Understand, you don't get positions from God Entienda que usted no tiene posiciones de Dios por Dios. He looks at you por, and, and sees sin porque lo mira usted y ve el pecado and rebellion y rebelión and things like that. y cosas así. God looks at hearts. Dios mira los corazones. And he wants to see who's after him. Y entonces él quiere ver quiénes son los que le siguen. Those are the ones he'll give a position to. Esos son los los que tienen las posiciones. And they get to do the incredible. Y hacen lo, lo, las maravillas. If they are faithful. Si son fieles. David. David. Also did wrong. También se equivocó. But when God revealed it to him. Pero cuando Dios se lo reveló a él. Instead of making excuses, en vez de hacer excusas, he repented. Él se arrepintió. And God counted that 
as faithful. Entonces Dios miró eso como una fidelidad. It's not that we're perfect, brothers and sisters. Eso no significa que nosotros somos perfectos, hermanos y hermanas. But let's be perfectly faithful. Pero vamos a ser perfectamente fieles. When he says you're wrong, cuando él dice usted está incorrecto, then turn around. Entonces conviértase. Humble yourself before him. Sea humilde ante él. Respond to that. Responda eso. Don't run away from God when no he calls. No se vaya. Corriendo. Run to God. A, corra hacia Dios. And he will count that. Y él va a contar eso. As you being faithful. Como que estés fiel. Solomon, Solomon made this declaration. Salomón hizo esta declaración. In Samuel. In Samuel. Put it up there, on there. No, I, I can't read that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, go to the next one. I'm sorry, it wasn't Sammy. Go to the next one. There you go. Kings, first Kings. And Solomon said, You have shown great mercy to your servant David, my father, because why? See, he messed up. Así que él se equivocó. He had sin. Él pecó. But look what it says. Pero mira lo que dice. Because he walked before me in truth. Porque él caminó en verdad. In righteousness and in uprightness of heart with you. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Salomón dijo, tú hiciste gran misericordia a tu siervo, David, mi padre, porque él anduvo delante de ti en verdad, en justicia y con restitud de corazón para contigo. Y tú le has reservado esta tu gran misericordia en que le dijiste, hijo, que se sentase en su trono como sucede en este día. Longer. It didn't mean he was perfect. No necesariamente dice que fue perfecto. But when God spoke, Pero cuando Dios habló, he responded. Él respondió. And because of that, y por eso, his son and future generations su hijo y las futuras generaciones, got the throne. Lo, lo sacó del trono. When Jesus' uh, birth was announced to Mary, that she was going to have this child. Cuando se le anunció a María que iba a tener este niño, the angel said, el ángel dijo, he will sit on David's throne. Se va a sentar en el en el trono de David. And he will have that throne forever. Y va a tener ese trono para siempre. So David's faithfulness. So la fidelidad de David made the difference for all his generation. Hizo toda la diferencia para toda la generación. Who knows what your faithfulness will do? ¿Quién sabe cómo su to everybody around fidelidad you. va a ser. What is the faithfulness of Pastor Arturo? ¿Cuál es la fidelidad del Pastor Arturo? And Janet. Y Janet. And all the leaders that are there. Y todos los líderes que están Everybody allá. who's helping that happen. Todos los que están ayudando. What's going to happen to others simply because they've been faithful with their God? Y solamente porque han sido fieles a Dios. In Psalms 31, verse 23. En el Salmo 31, verso 23. Says this. Oh, love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful. He fully repays the proud person. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All who hope in the Lord. Salmo 31, 23. Amada Jehová, todos vosotros sus santos, a los fieles guarda Jehová, y paga abundantemente al que procede con soberbia. Esforzaos todos vosotros lo que esperáis en Jehová, y tome aliento vuestro corazón. He per per preserves the faithful. Él preservó la fidelidad. He will watch after them. Él miró hacer, detrás he, de ellos. He will keep them. Él los mantuvo. He will empower them. Él lo dio poder. He will help them to accomplish. Él lo ayudó a hacerlo. What he calls them to. Pero eh, que lo causó. That's that's what I want to be. Eso es a donde yo quiero estar. I want God to walk with me. Yo quiero Dios que camine and conmigo. And I can believe whatever He's told me. Y yo puedo creer todo he, lo que él me ha dicho. He can make it come to pass. Él lo puede traer del pasado. All he asks. Todo lo que preguntó. Be faithful. Sé fiel. Be faithful. Sé fiel. Proverbs 28 verse 20. Proverbio 28 20. A faithful man will abound with blessings. Will abound with blessings. Leave it on English. But he who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. He's not going to be rewarded for that. But a faithful man 
will abound. El hombre de verdad tendrá muchas bendiciones, mas el que se apresura a enriquecerse no será sin culpa. You know, we give credit to God for what he does. Damos a crédito a Dios por lo que él hace. But, but listen to this. Pero listen, escucha esto. Listen to this. Matthew chapter 25. Mateo 25, 21. Verse 21. Verso 21. And his Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Mateo 25, 21, y su Señor le dijo, Bien, buen siervo y fiel, sobre poco has sido fiel, sobre mucho te pondré, entra en el gozo de tu Señor. That was part of the story of the master who passed out the talents, and those that were faithful got to hear those words. Um, eso es en cuanto a los talentos y solamente los que fueron fieles. But the Lord tells us on the day we meet him face to face. Entonces el Dios nos dice, en el día donde nosotros le veremos cara a cara. Those that are his, Todos los que son de él, he will greet them él los va a saludar with these words. Con estas palabras, well done. Bien hecho. Thou good and faithful servant. Buen siervo y fiel. Enter into the joy Entra of your Lord. En el gozo del Señor. I think it's very appropriate that the Sunday that Pastor Otoro and I were going to speak on faithfulness. Así que fue bien apropiado que nosotros íbamos a hablar de la fidelidad is the week that Pastor Bill Sammons Sr. passed away. He was not perfect. Era, él no era perfecto. He was faithful. Era fiel. And he blessed his whole community. Y él bendijo toda esta comunidad. Pastor Arturo, el is, Pastor Arturo is not perfect. No es perfecto. Jan is not perfect. No soy perfecta. But they are faithful. Pero somos fieles. And this whole community is getting blessed because of their faith. Toda la comunidad está siendo bendecida por su fidelidad. Many of you came here today. Muchos de ustedes han venido hoy día. You came up to those doors. Vinieron por estas puertas. You didn't even have to open them up. Ni siquiera tuvo que abrirlas. How many was that your experience today? Cuando ustedes experimentaron. Somebody else was opening that door for you. Le abrió la puerta a ustedes. Chances are they had a smile. El chance es que les sonrió. I'm pretty sure they didn't say, oh, no, here they come. <laughs> no, they had, a, they had an attitude of welcoming. Some of you probably shook a hand. And they're coming in, right? And they were encouraged. And you didn't have to touch the door. They opened that door, right? Some of them may have said, welcome to Crossroads. And it's encouraging when that happens, right? It is. But imagine this. Pero imagínese esto. For heaven, it's God who sees you coming. Para el cielo, es Dios que le recibe. It's God who knows what he's going to say to you. Es Dios que le va a decir. It's God who sees you coming to that door. Es Dios que lo ve que usted viene says, por esa puerta. Que dice, well done. Bien hecho. Good and faithful servant. Bien sirviente. You don't even have to touch the door. Tú no tienes que tocar la puerta. He opens it up for Él you. La abre para usted. He says, come on in. Así que dice, Entra. Welcome to the joy Bienvenido al gozo of your Lord. De nuestro Señor. To the faithful one. Los fieles. To the faithful one. Los fieles. And we'll end with this verse. Y terminamos con este verso. This is in 1 Timothy. En primera de Timoteos. Chapter 1, verse 12. Capítulo 1, 1, 12. If you want to see the rest of the message, look at the other services. You know. <laughs> but it says this. Mire, así dice. I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has enabled me because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Doy gracias al que me fortaleció a Cristo Jesús, nuestro Señor, porque me tuvo por fiel poniéndome en el ministerio. He does not look for unfaithful people to Él put no in the ministry. miró por gente que no era fiel. He looks for faithful people. Él miró por gente fiel. Come on, church, you understand that. ¿Usted entiende? I was riding in my vehicle. Yo estaba manejando mi vehículo. Heading to the circle in Georgetown. Iba a ir para el círculo de Georgetown. I'm pulling up 
to the circle and on the other side of the circle is where Citizens Bank Entonces was. Este, Bank, As I pull up to the circle, y cuando estaba en el círculo, I hear God say, y escuché Dios decir, I want you to go into Citizens yo quiero que vayas al Citizens, and ask Janet, y le preguntes a Janet if she and Arturo, si a ella y Arturo are willing to do ministry for me. Están de acuerdo de hacer ministerio para mí. I'm going somewhere else. Yo iba a ir a otro lugar. I'm not going to the bank. Yo no voy a ir al banco. I don't have a check to deposit. No tengo que depositar ningún don't cheque. Don't need any money. No necesito ningún dinero. No business at Ni, Citizens Bank. Ningún tipo de negocio. But I pull halfway over. Pero y fui a la mitad. And pull in their parking lot. Y me, me puse en el, en el parking. I go right on in. Y entré. I get in line. Me puse en la línea. And I'm looking for Janet. Y miré a Janet. <laughs> <laughs> and I see her there and I'm letting some people pass me. Y la vi a ella y dejé a otras personas que so se fueron. So when it opens up just right, I'm there for Janet. Y, en, y cuando abrió, entonces dije, estoy ahí esperando por Janet. I go up there. Fui allá. And I said, Janet, I don't have any business here today. Y dije, Janet, yo no tengo nada que hacer hoy día. God's told me to be here. Dios me dijo que estuviera aquí. He wants me to ask you a question. Y me dijo que te preguntara una, una pregunta. Would you be Would you be willing to do es, ministry? ¿Estás dispuesta a hacer ministerio? At Crossroad Church. At Crossroad Church. She starts crying. Y comencé a llorar. She says, Yo dije, that morning, que en esta mañana, she and Arturo prayed. Eh, Arturo y yo oramos. And said, Lord, if you want us to do ministry, y dije, Dios, si quieres que nosotros hagamos el ministerio, you show us where we're supposed to do it. Nos enseña qué se supone que hagamos. <laughs> so, así, If any of you come and say, si usted viene y dice, I didn't really enjoy Pastor Arturo's part of the preaching service. Yo realmente no disfruté la, eh, lo que el Pastor Arturo predicó. I don't care. No me importa. <laughs> I, I didn't put him there. Yo no lo puse aquí. God put him there. Dios lo puso aquí. I didn't choose him. Yo no lo escogí a él. I mean, how how many uh, Hispanic Spanish people are all over this place? ¿Cuántas personas hispanas hay aquí? But it didn't matter how many we have. No importa cuántos tenemos. God chose him and Janet. Dios lo escogió a él y a Janet. Makes all the difference in the world. Hace toda la diferencia en este mundo. All God cares about. Todo lo que Dios le importa is whether they're being faithful to the call. Es que si son fieles al llamado. And we will see the incredible y vamos a hacer, vamos a ver lo increíble as they stay faithful. Y si se mantienen fieles. I'm not going to be stabbing him in the back. Yo no lo voy a estar apuñaleando la espalda. I'm going to have his back. Yo voy a estar con él. I will encourage. Yo le voy a dar eh, palabras de aliento. Lift up their hands. Levantar sus manos. And I'll rebuke. Y también lo voy a reprender. If I need to rebuke. Si tengo que reprenderlo. But I will never be against him. Pero nunca voy a estar en contra de él. Because the faithful God is for him. Porque el Dios fiel es con él. And, and I'm going to stand with him. Y yo voy a permanecer con él. And that's the ministry we find ourselves in. Y entonces es el ministerio que nos encontramos en. And that's the ministry you will find yourself in. Y es en el ministerio que usted va a encontrar donde se va a encontrar. If you will simply be faithful. Si usted simplemente es fiel. To the faithful God. Al Dios fiel. He will be there for you. Él va a estar a usted, con usted. The only question is. La única pregunta. Are you there for him? Está usted por él. That will make all the difference. Eso va a ser toda la diferencia. So I have enjoyed. Yo he estado disfrutando. My not just ten years because you were faithful. No solamente diez años porque tú estás siendo fiel. For a few years here. Por, por algunos por años aquí. They came to Saturday night, Sunday night. Venían sábados y domingos. They were excited to come. Estaban bien contentos de venir. They heard a lot of Pastor Rick. Escucharon mucho acerca del Pastor Rick. And she had started translating English here. Y comencé a traducir eh, uh, aquí en el servicio de inglés. You see her in the back corner. Estaba allí en la esquina. Like this one. <laughs> And people that needed the translation were in here with the little, you know, earphone things. Now it's just the opposite. 
Now, if you English-speaking people, si usted go, habla over, inglés, go over there, si vaya, you get the little thing in usted your tiene ear. El <laughs> and you go like, wow, y usted va, wow that guy's good. Because <laughs> they'll translate. Porque están traduciendo. Now there's translators on the side. Y también tienen traductores going, en la lado. <laughs> you know? están así. It's been beautiful. Muy bonito. But we celebrate. It's wonderful for their 10-year celebration and that we brought it into here today. That we can all be thankful for what God's doing. Me. To Estamos somebody contento. who's faithful. Praise God. Por lo que Dios está haciendo por alguien que ha sido fiel. Woo! Now somebody here may say, wow, I needed to hear this message. Hay alguien aquí que dice, wow, yo necesitaba escuchar este mensaje. I to hear about the God. Yo necesito escuchar de un Dios fiel. I to hear how he to who are back. Uh, yo necesito saber que eh, eh, ve a gente que Dios le escucha cuando son fieles. And I know this, there may be some here y yo sé que hay, hay personas que quizás están aquí who need right now que necesitan ahora to take themselves off the throne para sacarse ellos mismos del trono of, of their life de sus vidas and let the Lord Jesus Christ be on the throne. Y de dejar que Dios esté en el trono. And if God's brought you to that, my brother, my sister, y si Dios te trajo aquí, mi hermano y mi hermana, don't wait another day. No espere ni un día más. If God's drawing you to himself, si Dios te está trayendo a él, this is your moment. Este es tu momento. This is your day. Este es tu día. Respond to the faithful God. Responde al Dios he Fiel. will keep his word. Él mantendrá su palabra. But I want you to leave you with this. Yo te quiero dejar con esto. When Jesus con Je cuando Jesús went to the river Jordan, cuando fue el, el, el río de Jordán, he was baptized él fue bautizado by John the Baptist. Por Juan el Bautista. And it says they saw the Holy Spirit come down on y vieron him. Que el Espíritu Santo bajó and stayed. Y se mantuvo. We call that today in our experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Y nosotros hoy día le llamamos en la experiencia del bautismo en el Espíritu Santo. But the Bible doesn't talk. Pero la Biblia no habla about Jesus at that moment. De acerca de Jesús en ese momento. Having power. Tener poder. What it says is the Spirit drove him out to the wilderness. So eh, lo que dice es que el Espíritu lo llevó a la al desierto. And in the wilderness, he was tested for 40 days. En el desierto fue probado por 40 días. Pastor Arturo was tested for four years. El pastor Arturo fue probado por cuatro años. In a five o'clock service. A las cinco de la tarde. Jesus, 40 days. Jesús, 40 días. When the devil came. Cuando el enemigo venga. And we don't know all the things that we know of three things that are recorded. Nosotros sabemos tres cosas que se, graba, eh, se escribieron. That every time the devil tempted. Cuando a, cada vez que el enemigo le tienta. Jesus referred to the faithful God. Eh, Dios eh, se revela al. He did not let him pull him away. No deja que se lo ponga aparte. He honored his father. El Honra al Padre. He spoke the word. Él habla la palabra. He was faithful. Era fiel. In every test. En cada prueba. Then the Bible says. Y la Biblia dice. When he came out of the wilderness. Cuando él se fue de ahí. He had power. Él tuvo poder. The faithful God. El Dios fiel. Responds to his faithful. Responde a la gente fiel. And when his son was faithful, y cuando su eh, hijo fue fiel, he now had power. El ahora tuvo poder to do the ministry. Para hacer el ministerio. For four years. Por cuatro años. I watched Pastor Arturo and Janet. Yo he observado el Pastor Arturo y Janet. Be faithful. Ser fiel. Didn't mean they were perfect. No, no sé si realmente es, but they eran stayed perfectos. faithful to their God. Pero fueron fieles a, a Dios. Adiós. And man, have they come out with power. Y, y sí ha venido con poder. And God is working mighty things. Y Dios está haciendo cosas maravillosas. And the, the best is yet to come. Y todavía lo mejor está por It's venir. It's going to be beautiful, brother. Eso va a ser bonito, hermano. Yeah. 
So if God is calling you today, so Dios te está llamando hoy día. This is your starting mark. Dios, eh, este es tu momento de comenzar. This is when life begins. Este es cuando la vida comienza. When you're connected with the faithful cuando God. Cuando usted está conectado con el Dios fiel. Whether things are good. Cuando las cosas están bien. Whether they're bad. O cuando va mal. Stay faithful. Mantente fiel. And you will gain power in God. Y va a tener poder en Dios. To do anything He pa calls you para to. Para hacer cualquier cosa que él te mandó a hacer, ya llamó a hacer. So if today, brother and sister. Hermanos, hoy día. You need to give your heart. Tienes que dar tu your life over to God. Tu, tu vida, Dios. I can lead you in a prayer. Vamos a orar por ti. Of you surrendering everything. Para que usted eh, rinda todo. To Him. A él. As Lord. Como Dios. And Savior of your life. Y el Salvador de tu vida. I ask you to be bold. Si, eh, quiero que seas valiente. Don't be afraid. No tengas miedo. Trust Him that He'll do this. Créelo que él va a hacer esto. And be willing to confess Christ today. Y se, disponible para confesar If a you need that prayer, si necesitas oración, then raise that hand. Entonces levante su we'll mano. Y together. vamos todos a orar en común. Right Alguien quiere hacerlo. Raise your hand up high and we'll say Levante this prayer. Committing your heart and life to the Levante living God. Levante su mano. There's somebody here? Alguien? Where are we at? Over here, brother? Right there? Amen, brother? Amen. Anybody else? Alguien más? Right? Okay, I, I know. Yep. All right, right here, brother. Anybody else? Alguien más? Anybody else? Back there, all the way in the back. I see that hand all the way in the back. Alguien más? Come on, anybody else? Alguien más? Don't want to miss this moment. We've had three others in the other services. Tuvimos tres personas. Praise God. All right. Praise God. All right. We're going to say this all together. Vamos a hacer esta oración en conjunto. Until this, this weekend services. Uh, en estos eh, servicios. We've never said this prayer with translation. <laughs> Nunca habíamos hecho esta oración con una traductora. But we're going to do it today. Pero vamos a hacerlo hoy. Let's all say this together. Vamos a hacerlo juntos. Because of those of you who raised your hand, uh, uh, eh, los que levantaron sus manos, God knows exactly why you did it. Dios sabe por qué exactamente so, usted lo está so haciendo. let's pray with them today. Vamos a orar. Dear Lord, querido Dios, thank you for this day. Gracias por este día. And the words I've heard, y las palabras que he escuchado, you have used them. Tú las has usado to draw me to yourself. Para traerme a ti. So right now, así. Ahora mismo, in front of all these witnesses, in frente a todos estos testigos, I receive you, Jesus. Yo te recibo, Jesús. As my Lord, como mi Dios, and my Savior, y mi Salvador. Come live in me. Ven y, li y vive en mí. Thank you for dying for my sins. Gracias por morir por mis pecados. And removing them out of the way. Y, re y removerlos de mi vida. I turn from those sins. Yo me de torno atrás de ellos. And choose to live for you. Y escojo vivir para ti. Holy Spirit, Espíritu Santo, come and fill me now. Lléname ahora. Teach me the ways of Jesus. Enséñame los caminos de Jesús. That I might follow after Him. Que yo pueda seguirle. All the days of my life. Todos los días de mi vida. And it's according to Your word. Y de acuerdo a tu palabra. That as I do this. Que como hago esto. I can confess. Yo puedo confesar. By faith. Por fe. That I am saved. Que yo soy salvo. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. And if we follow His word and His spirit. Si usted sigue su palabra y su espíritu, in that prayer that I say, en esa oración que yo dije, we say we confess by faith. Se confesamos por fe. That I am saved. De que yo soy salvo. Why? Por qué? Because he's a faithful God. Porque es un Dios fiel. We don't do it on our side. Nosotros no hacemos por we nosotros. We confess it because he said it. Lo confesamos porque él we lo dice. We surrender our lives to him. Nosotros nos rendimos and nuestra vida a él. He is Lord and Savior. Él es Dios y Salvador. You are part of the redeemed. Tú eres parte de los redimidos. And let the redeemed say so. Amen. Praise God. Redimido. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you said that prayer, si usted dijo esa oración, e even if you didn't raise your hand, but you meant that prayer, quizás no levantó sus manos, pero dijo la oración, please go over here to this, this side right here. Así que vaya aquí al lado. Pastor Ken and Lynn want to pray with you. They want to invest in that decision. Y los pastores van a orar por ustedes, van a invertir en ustedes. And if you don't have a home church, y si usted no tiene una iglesia, you got one right here if you want it. Usted tiene una aquí mismo si usted quiere. English or Spanish. Ingle inglés o español. But we all say, welcome to the family. So todos welcome decimos to bienvenido family. a la familia. Praise God. We, that, I think that's at 
five different people that have raised their hands for salvation already, and they didn't even understand half the service. <laughs> Cinco personas levantaron la mano y ni siquiera entendía la mitad del servicio. Isn't God amazing? Dios es maravilloso. Praise God, give him praise. <laughs> Now for the rest of us, you know what we got. Así, ¿saben lo que tienen? Seven days. Siete días. Seven days to Siete do what? Días. To walk with the faithful God. Para caminar con el fiel. To know what he's called us to. Para saber para qué nos llamó and él. to be faithful to y what he's called fiel us. Para lo que nos llamó. I pray you have a great week. Y yo oro para que usted tenga be una praying for Pastor bella. Bill's family. Ore por la familia de Pastor Bill. And the services that are going to happen here. Y los servicios que van a ocurrir we, aquí. We're right now talking. We've, we had four services we were dealing with this just this week. Así que son cuatro servicios en esta semana que vamos a tener. The 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 family of the 17 year old and six year old of Woodbridge that passed away. They're going to be here not this Saturday but next Saturday. So eh, be praying for all those situations. Los que murieron en Woodbridge van todos esos funerales van a ser aquí. God is allowing crossroad. Dios está permitiendo a crossroad to touch this community in so many ways. Para tocar esta comunidad en diferentes Maneras. Pray for all the people and the leaders. Eh, ore por todas las personas y los líderes. To be faithful. Para ser fieles. In what God gives us opportunity. En lo que le da, Dios le da la oportunidad. To minister to. Para ministrarle. So have a great seven days. Y pase unos siete días extraordinarios. And let's pray. Y vamos a orar. Lord, thank you for my brothers and sisters. Gracias por mis hermanos y hermanas. Thank you for this combined service. Gracias por este servicio combinado. And Lord, we just submit ourselves to you. Y Dios, nosotros nos sometemos a ti. May you have your way in our lives. Y que tengas tú eh, caminos en nuestra vida. May vidas. the Holy Spirit lead us. Que sea el Espíritu Santo guiándonos. May we follow the direction. Que podamos seguir las direcciones. And may you be glorified. Y que tú seas glorificado. In your sons and daughters. En tus hijos y hijas e hijas. Because we know. Porque sabemos. You're a faithful God. Porque tú eres un Dios fiel. Help us, Lord. Ayúdanos, Dios. That as we look to you. Cuando miramos a ti. That we can know que sabemos, you love us, que nos amas, you care for us, que te preocupas, and you will bless those y que nos vas, y que vas a ayudar, a that, are, that are faithful to you. Que son fieles a ti. We say all these things Entonces, decimos todas estas cosas in Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. And everybody says, give him glory, church. Come on, give him glory. Gloria a Dios. Dele gloria a Dios.